Okay guys, so you will make for this sweater, for your average size female, you're gonna make about, what I did was I made 40 granny squares, okay? And this is your option. You can do your 40 granny squares with your three colors, or you can do your granny squares with your three colors and your main color as you go along. So I tend to do mines at the end. So I have four more squares that I am going to do the edging on. And in order to do the edging, I am going to show you So, just like you would normally do when you're changing colors, you're just going to add, add your new color in. Okay, so what I am doing, I'm going to chain three. And so after I chain three, I did two double crochet, a chain one, two double crochet, and I'm going to do one more double crochet. And I'm not skipping any chains how I did for my other ones. So let me say this, if you did chain two across, for your colors, that's fine. However, when you get to this point, we're not doing any chain twos or chain ones. You're just moving along.
Okay, so I have my three, and then I have my main color that the sweater is going to be. Now, as you can see, let me show you, I have several of my squares finished with the color that my sweaters want to be. Okay, so I made one 14 by 14, 14 by um, 20 granny square. And this is going to be for the back. I'm going to finish these three and then I'll come back with the next thing that I'm gonna do so you guys can learn how to make your own cardigan. Okay guys, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start sewing seven, seven of our squares together. Okay guys, so I have seven granny squares here and I'm going to start sewing my granny squares together so I'm going to get my main color that I've been using and I'm going to get my needle and thread And to okay, so I'm going to connect these by putting my right sides together. So the right sides are going to be together. I want to make sure oh, right sides are going to be together. I'm going to make sure that I line these up, and I'm going to just go through. and start sewing. Everybody has a different method of how they sew their squares together. My first cardigan, I sewed my squares together a little differently, but I didn't like, I didn't really like how the back of them looked. So with these, I'm just gonna try it this way and see how I like the outcome. So I'm just going through both loops and sewing. So when I get to the edge, I kind of just make a little knot there and then I will just clip it. And then I just double tie. And at the end where I started, I'm just gonna leave that tail there so that I can uh, slide it through later. And so we have our first two squares connected. So I wanna add a third square now, and I'm gonna put the right sides together, get my needle and thread, and I'm just gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna line up, line these up, Went too far. So I'm lining these up.
Okay, so I'm going to add four more squares using the same method so that I can have seven squares for each row. So this is how it looks. Okay, so once you connect all seven of these, so we have seven of these connected, you are then going to make two more of these. So you're going to have three rows of seven, which is going to give us our 28. Okay, so now that we have three rows of seven, we have our 28. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the right sides and you're going to sew where well, you're going to get, yeah, you're going to sew, you're going to stitch along this row. And then after you stitch that row, you are then going to put these two right sides together and you're going to stitch here. So once I have stitched these together, I'm going to come back. Now, when you're stitching these together, what you want to do is you're going to do the same thing that you did with putting these together. So you will get your sides lined up in the corners and then you will begin to stitch. And you want to make sure that you have enough yarn when you're stitching across. So for this one, I want to make sure. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing that we did the first time. So you're just going under both loops all the way down. And I'm going to have to start this one over because I left a lot of this hanging. So I'm going to sew all the way down and then I'm going to sew this one and I'll show you what it looks like when all three are connected. Okay, guys, so I'm going to take this red yarn and I'm going to do a border, continue in the granny square. I'm going to go all the way around and I'm just going to do it for one round. So I'm adding... Adding in and I'm just continuing as I would, you know, as you would a normal granny square. So I'm starting, I did my corner. So this is my corner. And then I'm just gonna continue on with the pattern of my granny square.
Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take the two granny squares that I sewed together. I'm going to put them down right sides, line the corners up. So I'm going to line the corners up. And once you do your border, it's just going to look like a red. You know, it's just going to be red as your last color on the granny square. So I'm going to sew my squares together onto the granny square. Okay, so once you sew the two squares on, this is what you're going to have. You're going to have two squares, and you're going to have a good amount here. I want to give her a lot of room with her sleeve, so I'm not going to sew the extra square. I'm just going to leave it at the two squares. Once the border comes around, you will see how everything comes together. So we have the two squares here, and then I'm just going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, so now that we have the squares on both sides, what we're going to do next is we're going to take those three rows and you're going to place it on the wrong side, right? When you place it on the wrong side, you want to leave this row free. This, the last row stays free because it's going to go on the front side. So you're going to sew you want to stitch from this first square all the way down to the fifth square and this stays free so these three are going to go on the reverse side but from the first to the fifth that's going to get sewn with this so that way the square is going to be in the center. Okay, guys, so here we are. I used the same method with the three rows, and I added two more rows. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, because I wanted to make this longer instead of shorter. So what I did was I said, all right, I'm going to make some more granny squares, and just added these two extra rows. So... Now I'm going to move along with this cardigan. I'm going to slide this down so you guys can see. And what I did was connect four, four more granny squares. And I'm going to connect it here on this side. And of course, you got to put your right sides together. And I'm going to sew all of this together so i'm gonna sew the square that's here with this and sew this to this which means once this is sewn here we're going to flip this over and because it'll be attached we'll sew along here then that'll be done for our front and you'll see where I'm going with this because we're going to do a border all the way around this thing. We're going to do a border. And once we do the border, because we're going to leave this open here for our sleeve, which is how I did the other one. I did this one slightly different from the other one, but it's still the same method, so to speak. So once I sew this and this, I'll come back and show it to you so you can see what it looks like. And then I'm going to do the opposite side and then we'll get ready to do the border all the way around. Okay, guys. So, as you can see, 
I sewed these together. I'll slide this up some. Okay, so I sewed my square and I just thought this was kind of cool because I had a little orange here. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a, do a um, orange square here. And then I included my other squares. So as you can see, we're lined up. We're lined up right here. And I'll slide this down so you can see where I'm pointing, just in case you you can. But I'm lined up. Right okay, here. so you're gonna take these squares that is representation of the sleeve. That's the only way I can kind of explain it. And you're gonna fold it over on the wrong side, so the wrong side and the right side of the main big granny square are gonna be touching. And then you are going to sew those two together. So that way we have a space for our armhole. Done the sleeves and what we're going to do is whatever main color that you're using we're going to use that main color and we're going to go to the corner at the very bottom so I'm at the very bottom it doesn't matter which square you choose and I'm going to flip it on the wrong side so right at the corner where ever you know, on your granny square, I'm just going in here. And I'm going to hook up my yarn, bring that loop through, bring the end through, make a little knot, and that didn't work, so we're going to try it again. So bring my loop through, bring my end through. I'm going to tie a knot and then I'm going to bring up a loop and I'm going to start my granny square pattern. So I'm just following my regular, the same way you make a granny square, you're just doing it around the whole edge all around. Okay, so I'm going to chain three and I'm going to go in and I'm going to do one double crochet, two double crochets. I'm gonna turn this around. So I did three double crochet. Of course, I'm gonna do my corner, how it's supposed to be done. So I chain one, and I'm gonna do three more double crochets. One, two, Three. I'm just, I'm not doing any chain ones or chain twos. I'm going to go into this space here and we're going to do three double crochets. Go on to the next space and do three double crochets. And you're going to repeat until you get to the next corner. So when I get to the next corner, I'm gonna come back. Okay, so here we are at the corner. And so I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to do a double crochet, another double crochet, third double crochet, chain one, double crochet, two, three, and then I'm going to go into my next space. Actually, what I'm going to do is 
this it was a mistake <laughs> so i'm going into the next one next chain space and we're going to repeat the same pattern that we did across and we're going to do three here three in the next one and once we get well once i get to the edge i want to show you guys what i want to do there because that's where we have our area of the armhole so once i get to this point here because we're going to chain we're going to continue to do our three double crochets once i get well the camera didn't catch what i did so we're going to rewind here so we're going to three we're going to do our three double crochets all the way up this edge here okay where this arm is so once you finish that and you fold it over this is what you're going to have so this is your front So as you can see so far, this is your front. You have your shoulder here and boom. Look at that. It's a nice big armhole area. And yes, 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 yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so as you're doing your border and you get to the point where the shoulder is, you're gonna just continue on with your pattern. So you're gonna continue with your three double crochets in each one of your squares. Or your chain spaces, let me say that. And when you get to here, you're just going to go into that space where you have the three double crochets in you chain one and then you're just going to do three double crochets and then you're going to do you're going to leave this part alone and then you're going to go into this chain space over here on the other side in that main granny square and you're just going to continue on all the way around with chaining i mean with three double crochets in each space. And you're just gonna do this for as many rounds as you like. So if you wanna go around nine times, five times, 10 times, it is up to you. But at this point, it's just a repeat round so that we have our nice trim in the front and we're able to have enough to where, you know, you're covering, you can close it or, you know, have it open, but it's a nice fitting cardigan. If you want to wear it as a vest, so to speak, you can do that. Um, And you can have it sleeveless if you like. It's really up to you. It's your choice on how you would like your cardigan to turn out. I just wanted to give you the foundation of how I created mine. Okay, guys, so we got this thing, this sleeve on here now. I am almost finished. Yes, I'm so excited. So as you can see on that side, I still need to do the other sleeve. And I'm going to show you how to knock that sleeve out. This sleeve is approximately 22 inches. And the first couple of rows, we only did 12. This is inside out, by the way, just so I keep all my dirty work on the dirty side. And then I can clean it up once I'm done. And, of course, we have our right side. We start with the white. So I did my trimming around. And now all we have to do is the last sleeve. So I want to show you guys how to do that. Okay, guys, so here is our opening, and I'm going to start right here at the edge, like where the sides pretty much meet up, and I'm just going to take and put my hook through here, and I'm going to pull my yarn through.
and then I'm gonna pull that down and I'm gonna chain three and here we go so we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna do three double crochet so we already have one and so we're just gonna do two more I'm not chaining anything I'm just going into each space okay so I'm just going into the spaces following along with my granny pattern but with this we need to kind of close this up so we're going to do three in our set of six that is connected we're just going to go through the opening we're going to go to the next one in between the three well in between the six and we're just going to do three double crochets all the way around in our spaces and you should only have 20 for this um, circumference of three double crochets together so at the end you should have a total of 20 and we're going to keep going around you can change your colors or you can stay with one color depending on how you're making yours I'm just going to be switching my colors so when I get to my 10th round that's going to be my decrease round so when I get to round 10 I'm going to come back but the only thing that we're going to do here is three double crochets in each opening and then we're going to connect them at the end and you just continue to um, go around until you get to your 10th row or you can switch colors in between each row and of course at the end of each one you're gonna have to connect one chain three and continue on if that is your choice which is what I will be doing so I'll see you guys after I do 10 rows okay guys so I went on ahead and I did row 10 now I have the these this one open and then I have this one that's open so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to yarn over and I'm going to skip this one so we're going to skip one so we can decrease we're going to go into the next one and do two double crochets and then we're going to just do that connect them and then I'm going to clip it and switch colors now if you're not switching colors you can disregard this and you can do your next row the next row is going to be a complete row that's row 11 and then the last row you're going to skip one section again and go into the next section and do your three double crochets that will bring you down to 18 and that's what we want so once we get down to 18 and we have our 12 rows i'm going to show you guys what we're going to do next okay guys so the last step to the sleeve is doing a granny square, a big granny square. You're going to go around 17 times and that'll give you 17. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So you'll have 17 and then you're going to sew your granny square to your sleeve and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay guys, so I ended with red and I did my um, granny square edging in red and what you're gonna do is you're gonna sew this whole side that you fold in half and then what you do is you're gonna put the right side in here so that you're staying on the wrong side when you sew so i'm going to sew and then i'm gonna come back to this part 
Okay guys, so this is the wrong side. I've sewed up the whole entire side. Yes, I've been wearing my sponge bobs, don't judge me. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our end, we're gonna flip it, inside out so that the right sides are facing each other and I'm gonna take my corner and line it up with my other corner that's at the lower edge so my corner is here. I'm gonna put this corner here. And then we're gonna just stretch it from the inside and we're just gonna start sewing. Okay guys, so both sleeves are done. It looks a little crazy because of the way I got it hanging up on my um, patio door. And keep in mind that this is on the wrong side. So I have to sew in and tuck all these ends, even include it on the back. And then I will be finished and I can show you guys the finished product. But I just wanted to show you guys that both sleeves have been attached. Yes. So glad it's almost over. Okay, guys. So I finished the sweater. Here is the sweater. Boom, boom, boom. Y'all already know what the bottom look like. The ends are tucked. I'm so excited. The sleeves are nice, big, and baggy. So that way it's room if you decide to wear something else underneath of it. But I hope you guys can see the back. Um... Of course, you see the border. So, yes, this thing is long. Oh, my gosh. Let me tilt this down. Okay. So, yeah, it's pretty long. She's a little taller than me. Um, We're about the same height, but she's thicker. Excuse my pillows on the floor and my thumb was all in the way, but it's okay. Y'all got to see my little beauty mark on my thumb. Yes, it's in the evening. I got my scarf on. I'm just so excited to be done with this. She asked me for wide sleeves. I gave her the wider sleeve um, and she could just throw it on, you know, just throw it on, throw it off. She could wear whatever she want to wear under there. So, yes, y'all know when I got this shirt on, this is my work shirt. I think I didn't wore this. This is the second time I wore it in the video. I've been working on this thing on and off for quite some time in between making masks and everything. So, I'm finally glad that I was able to get this video done because you guys were waiting for some time. For those of you who have been waiting, for the people who are new to my channel, thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. Leave your comments. Let me know what your thoughts are. If there's anything that I missed that you have questions about, let me know. Um, I'm just glad to just be done with this. So, without further ado, I am going to go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Because it's late and I got to go to work tomorrow. Yes! Like, comment, and subscribe. And share the video if you like it. I mean... Sharon is caring and be safe out there guys. Bye.